All right, so this is the first uh, shot at a prototype for the entire run-through of the game. What I have right now is a complete uh, state machine for the game itself, so from beginning to end. Uh, as you see here, I started off on first level, and I have an X amount of time. And when the timer runs out, you see that I should go back to the beginning. So it's sort of a, uh, like a checkpoint type of game. Okay, and I start over again. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm testing out with some art that I've been supplied. This is the uh, the 2D art. Uh, very simple to throw it in and make it look 3D along with the uh, the 3D hoop. So that part isn't a problem. Seems to be working out really well. Um, I have all of the same shooting logic as I had before. That didn't change. Really, the only new part is that I'm just putting everything together into a complete game. Um, I won't be able to make the basket behind it. As you see, I'm trying to launch balls. It only will work for this basket in front of me. And also note, when I make the shot, I get more points towards my time. Uh, that part can be changed as it goes on. Like I said, this is purely just a uh, prototype to see how the game mechanics will work. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get to the end so you can see what happens. As you see, I just have different types of levels on each one. I still have the looking feature enabled, and there we go, I made it. So now I got to the end, and it tells me how many seconds I have left. I could do other stats here, like uh, uh, how many balls you had, or how many shots it took for you to make it, stuff like that. And if I hit menu, it starts over. Now, I also was supplied a video um, of the animation, and I had a problem with Android, actually, with the fact that they can't play movie textures like the iPhone can and the PC and all the other uh, styles. Um, so I can't just put a texture down and play a movie on it and put that texture right where the ball is to make the animation play. Um, they actually, Android actually has to load an embedded video player and it actually, it's almost like a full screen and it replaces what my current image is with the video. Um, what I'm going to have to actually probably do is make my own custom animation with uh, JPEGs and actually go through it with uh, scenes or look into some sort of alternative with uh, custom animations. It can't be an actual video file. That seems to be a problem. So if you look, take a look here, I'll show you. You see it loads a new video player and then it actually plays the video and it completely overcomes the screen. And then I had difficulty just trying to get back. Like when I close the player, it just seems to restart. Uh, I could probably get back, but it's still the problem of it covers the entire screen and it's just not acceptable at the moment. And note, all the artwork was uh, due to Pat Bradley, who is the co-artist, not co-artist, the uh, co-designer, or the uh, my, my co-worker on this project itself. So all credit will be given to him. All right, more to come. Thank you.